Okay, welcome to your 2.2, nope, sorry, 2.4 um, video casts. Look at the top of page 81 in your math journal. The title of this lesson is Estimate Products. The essential question, how can you estimate products by rounding and determine if exact answers are reasonable? Okay, we're going to turn that into an I can statement. So we're going to replace how can with I can estimate products by rounding and determine if exact answers are reasonable. Moving on down to the unlock the problem. First, let's read the question together. Follow along with me. An elephant can reach as high as 23 feet with its trunk. It uses its trunk to pick up objects that weigh up to three times as much as a 165 pound person. About how much weight can an African elephant pick up with his trunk? Okay. The first thing we're going to do over here in this blue box is we're going to cross out the information that we will not use. Okay, We actually don't need this first sentence. An elephant can reach as high as 23 feet with its trunk. Okay, We're not going to be using that information to find our answer. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is circle the numbers that we're going to use. So we're going to circle, 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 circle the clues that you need to use. Okay, so we know that they're usually numbers. So 165 pound person and three times as much. I'm already thinking in my head that this is probably going to be multiplication because it says three times as much. I'm also going to ask you to un, un, underline, underline what you need to find. About how much weight can an African elephant pick up with its trunk. That's what we're looking for. That's what we need to find. And I'm going to go ahead and circle about too, because to me, that is a key word. When I hear the word about, I'm thinking in my head, oh, about, that means I'm going to estimate. I'm not finding an exact answer. I'm instead finding a ballpark or an estimate. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on down to one way. We're going to estimate by rounding. We know that when we estimate, we can't just estimate in our heads. We need to use the strategy of rounding. Okay, so round to the greater fact, round the greater factor to the nearest hundred. So three times sixty, three times one sixty-five, are the two factors. Three and one sixty-five. We're going to look for the greater factor, which is one sixty-five. We're going to round that to the nearest hundred. Hundred. So we're going to underline the hundred. Look next door. Um, five or more, let it soar. So the six is five or more. So we're going to let the underlying digit soar to a two. Everything on the left is going to stay the same, which there's nothing in this case, and everything on the right is going to turn to a zero. So 165 is going to round up to 200. So three times 200. Step two, you could use mental math. You could think, well, three times 200 is equal to three times 200. I know that three times two is six plus my hundreds. So that is what we did in lesson 2.3. Think back to lesson 2.3 when we did all of that multiplying by hundreds and tens. So six hundreds is equal to what number? How would you write six hundreds in standard form? You would write it six hundred. So an African elephant can pick up about 600 pounds with its trunk. You're probably seeing a pattern with Go Math. In Go Math, the people who wrote this book like to give you guys multiple ways that you can do things. There's no one right way. Okay, your teacher might you might hear your teacher say, I learned it like this, so this is how I would like to solve this problem. Okay, but you can certainly choose any strategy you want to solve these problems. So this is just another way that you can solve the problem. Estimate by finding two numbers, the exact answer is in between. So here we're taking 3 times 165. They're actually rounding it down to 100. 3 times 100 is equal to, so my class, we talked about circling the, num the numbers that are greater than 0. So 3 times 1 is 3, and then adding however many zeros you have. So add your zeros here. Here they're rounding 165 up to 200. So 3 times 200. 
So circle the numbers that are greater than zero. So three and two, you're gonna multiply those two numbers. Three times two is six. How many zeros do you have to add? Two. So think in your head, 165 is between 100 and 200. And you're gonna use those two numbers to estimate. So the African elephant can pick, pick up between 300 and 600 pounds. Moving on down to number one. Is 200 less than or greater than 165? Okay, so you could write that out here if you are a more visual person like me. Is 200 less than or greater, or greater than 165? Well, I know that 200 is greater than 165, so I'm gonna write that in word form right here on this line. So, with the product, remember a product is when two um, factors are multiplied together, you get the product. Would the product of three and 165 be less than or greater than 600? So it would be less than 600. Okay, now turn to page 82 in your book. We're moving on to the next part of Unlock the Problem. If you look at the top here, follow along with me, part of estimation is describing reasonableness. So basically what we estimate is going to help us determine whether or not the actual answer is going to be reasonable. So describe reasonableness, it says, you can estimate a product to find whether an exact answer is reasonable. Okay, so if our exact answer is close to our estimate, then we can say that the exact answer is a reasonable answer, meaning it logically makes sense, okay? If we go down here where it says tell whether an exact answer is reasonable, we're gonna go through this problem here with Eva's horse. Read this with me. Eva's horse eats 86 pounds each week. Eva solved the equation below to find out how much feed she needs for four weeks. Okay, so first, we need to underline what we need to know. So we need to know how much feed she needs for four weeks. Okay, this one is not in the form of a question. It's a statement, but it's still what we need to find. We need to find how much feed she needs for four weeks. Okay, now we're gonna circle our clues, just like Ms. Hartman referenced earlier, and her horse eats 86 pounds each week. 86 pounds each week. Okay, we wanna find four weeks. So again, we're going to use multiplication. It is set up here for us. 4 times 86 is the equation that we've already been given. It's already set up for you. Okay? Eva says she needs 344 pounds of feed. She solved this. Okay? So she's saying that 4 times 86 is 344. Now it's going to ask us, is her answer reasonable? Does this make sense? Okay? One way that we can check for reasonableness, again, we're using estimation, okay? So we're gonna round to the nearest 10. We look at the eight, that's the number that we're rounding. We look next door at the six. If it's greater than five, we let the number soar. So our eight is going to become a nine. Anything in front of it, we record. There's nothing here. Anything after it turns into a zero. So for our estimate, we have four times 90. Okay, it even says here, think, round to the nearest 10. Pay attention to your clues. Okay, again, mental math, you know that four times nine is 36, and then we add any zeros that were in our original problem, in our original factor, which we have one zero. So our estimate is 360. And if we look down here, again, this is written for us, 344 is close to 360. Yes, I would agree. It is close to 360. So that means our estimate is reasonable. Okay? And like Ms. Hartman said earlier, Go Math always gives us several ways to solve a problem. Using the method that the second way that you learned from the first page, another way is to find the range. So find two numbers. The exact answer is between, all right? So 
So the first one would be four times, and this time we're gonna go down, because we know that 86 is between 80 and 90. So we have four times 80, using our mental math, four times eight is 32. Bring our zero from the factor over. So we have 320. Then we also know that 86 is between, like I said, 80 and 90. So our second one would be four times 90 using mental math. Four times six is 36 plus the zero from the original factor, okay? So then down here we know that 344, which is the, the actual answer, is between 320 and 360, okay? So even by looking at that range, we, we can again verify that 344 pounds of feed is reasonable. Okay, using what we have just shown you on the last two pages, you're gonna move down and complete the share and show. You have one, number one and number two are on page 82, and then if you flip over to page 83, you have three and four, sorry, three and four to complete. So one through four for share and show. And I'm just gonna add, Ms. Francis, don't forget to look at what the problem is asking. I know that in lesson 2.2, a lot of students in my class got the share and show wrong and the lesson check because they were not focusing in on what the question is asking. So you're following all the right steps and then you're stopping. Well, you need to make sure that you check and see what the question is asking. You can usually find that in the last sentence. Very good, remember your clues. Underline what you need to find, circle, 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 circle the clues that you need to use. 